Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Okay, we're at Lowe's now. Fifty pound bag of what appears to be wet clay sand. Three twenty five. Hmm. And we're fixing to go to town raining frame while it's still kinda damp out but not really raining. And uh see if we can get some of this rust knocked off. I have to pardon the compressor running, but this is the new sand blaster. I got fresh new sand. All right, here we go. Got it hooked up to the air compressor and to the tank there. Let's see what kind of action we got going on here. Okay, so it's slow going, but it's actually blowing all the rust off like I'm needing it to. That right there is some kind of uh, sticky, like rubber foot type junk that's weld welded onto the frame. I haven't gotten all of that off of there yet. But you see it's taken most of it off already. Not too awful bad. Blowing it off the tank there also and it's just that I don't have very much pressure through this air compressor so it's a very very slow and tedious process so it'll do the job it just takes it a while longer than it would for a regular uh, sand blaster so if I had the right air pressure for it which it says 3.5 and mine's 4.0 but it it's not 4.0 continuous I don't guess but as you can see it's actually doing the job it's just taking quite a while longer than I thought it would so uh, I think it was $27 through Harbor Freight after your little coupon always use the promo code coupons they will save you money that's how I got this one for 27 bucks and like I said it's not like a in-shop tank or anything but it's doing the job all right after a waste of about 50 pounds of sand I was basically just trying to blow all the rest I could off with that and as you'll see looking real close I didn't blow it all off but I got most of it off I'm gonna have to wait for a drier day to come out here and finish uh, blowing the rest of it off because I thought the the dampness would help and it's really not it's actually causing the the sand to clump up in the tank there um, but ran into another problem Blowing the top of this tank off, and it had a couple little spots like so on there. So I was just trying to blow them off too. And look right there. Blew right through the top of the tank. Right there. 
three little pinholes there, little pinhole there, and one that I just now saw right there. It needs a new gas tank. I can probably do that pretty cheap at the pull apart. But I wanted to, main thing I wanted to do is get that rust knocked down right there. And the rust that was on back here. And like I said, there's still some goop here. It's kind of gummy. I'm going to have to get my scraper and scrape it off. But it's not bad. It's definitely recoverable. And I went ahead and uh, you can't see that one. That, one. that thing right there was shiny. Of course, I've blown rust and sand back over it again, so it's not shining so much no more. But I went ahead and blew off the some of the black on this side just real light real easy just blew right off that's all the better it was on there so basically that was just a spray can and you can see the original gold in there underneath it all blows off the hood just as easy and these were actually black um, underneath the red was kind of like a a beige color it looked like some kind of sealer or something maybe that they put on it before they put the red paint on them. but they were black so that's what color they will be again when I'm done with them but just wanted you to kind of see and see this, this didn't hurt the stripes any of course they're dirty because they're dusty right now or they're dusty because the the sand still stuck to them because it was wet but it didn't hurt the stripes it took it almost down to the sealer in a couple of these spots because I held it there too long but for the most part yeah and right there and there and on the very corner but irregardless it doesn't matter because I'm gonna take all that off to to paint it when I get ready to anyhow but this back here especially just it blew right off I'm surprised it hasn't blown off with the, the weather looks like a, almost like I painted it on with a brush or something but I know darn well it was a spray can anyway I did have a couple of you asking me uh, where I've been what I've been up to truth of the matter is Minecraft Found me a new little hobby. I got sucked into it. Hadn't been on the Google Hangouts as much. I uh, basically just went into, got to watching people doing that, uh, playing Minecraft, and decided that I wanted to give it a shot, and I kind of got hung up in it. But between that and the crappy weather we're having, like so, I just decided that it was time that I stayed indoors for a little bit tried not to get sick and got good at playing my game not a whole lot to film inside that's of any interest at all and I wasn't gonna waste gas and just ride down the road can't really afford to do all that this time of year but that's what I'm up to and since today was not pouring down rain I figured I'd get out here and give this thing a shot with the with the sand blaster and there you've seen the results now one thing I did find a lot of and I'm not surprised by it is dirt it's not mud or nothing really nasty it's just dirt it's where it's got in the frame the people never, never took it to the car wash and rinsed it out it's caking all up in there and it's causing all that stuff to rust because they didn't. Had they done that, it'd probably still look like mine does underneath. Or my son's. So, all I gotta do with all this is...
Just blow it off real good.